Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a decluttering video for my perfumes, which is very hard for me because I am a hoarder to the core when it comes to perfumes. Because, okay, let me just say this. I love all the perfumes that I have. The only reason I am getting rid of these is because I just don't use them anymore and they're literally just going to expire if I don't sell them, give them away, or whatever it is. Personally, I just never get the urge to reach for them anymore. I used to at some point, but now I don't, so I feel like it's time to let them go. So I have all of them here, and there's quite a few, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'll tell you why I don't want them anymore, and yeah. Okay, so first off, it's two of the same brand and even the same collection, but it is the Juicy Couture uh, Malibu ones. This one is Malibu Lala and Malibu, just regular Malibu. So this one is actually almost gone. I don't know if you can see. There, there's really nothing left in here. Um, but the rest of it, I did finish just using it on my pillows because I like when I go to sleep smelling perfume on my pillow. So I would spray my pillows with this. And then this one I hardly use. I think I used it a couple times. There's only a tiny little dent and that is it. Most of these perfumes were perfumes that I started collecting when I started getting into perfumes. And you will probably hear a lot of perfume creators tell you don't blind buy perfumes get a sample but we don't listen no hacemos caso and we buy them because it's exciting I personally think it's part of the experience when you start collecting perfumes going to Burlington Ross or whatever I still like doing it I'm not even gonna say that I'm not gonna do it anymore because I probably will and I feel like it's just part of the experience it's just fun to blind buy especially when you could get it for a good deal and it's like it's good and bad because at the same time, like with the price of everything that I bought here, I could have bought in one that I actually knew what it smelled like, but it is what it is. And these, all of these perfumes were part of that. It's like I was so excited collecting perfumes when I started. So for these, it was more of that experience where oh, I bought it. It's an okay fragrance. It doesn't smell bad, but it's something that I never reach for and I'm just... I'm going to move along. The next one that I am going to get rid of is my Vince Camuto Amour. Now this fragrance, I think it's a great beginner fragrance. It's fruity, it's light. Reminds me of like a Victoria's Secret body mist. Not a specific one, just like the scent profile of it. It's not horrible, but I just don't reach for it anymore, like I said. So I have to move along. Um, I'm also going to get rid of Fruity Neroli by Dossier. This one is their inspiration of Giorgio Armani My Way. And the only reason is because I do not like this fragrance anymore, this scent profile. I don't absolutely hate it, but it's just too floral sweet for me in a way that I can't tolerate it anymore. The next one I'm getting rid of is Nicki Minaj Pink Friday. This fragrance is also not bad, but I actually prefer the, the Minaj Steam one. Now, the fruit notes in there are not as sharp as they are in this one. So if I recommend one, I would go with Minaj Steam instead of this one. Next up, I'm getting rid of Michael Kors Glam Jasmine. Why? Because this is just too mature for me. Um, in the beginning, I liked it. My mom even has a big ass bottle of this one and she even said it was a little too strong for her and i think it's not horrible like i definitely see somebody wearing this in the springtime very bright fragrance it's just too floral like when there's floral perfumes for me i like them to have a little drop of fruitiness a little drop of sweetness and this is just straight up floral you won't get nothing else but fresh jasmine so if you like jasmine scents you'll love this one but I just never reached for it also and it's just a little bit used so she's going i love these designs of the bottles i absolutely love them but she's gotta go next up this one hurts but i have to get rid of it because i don't use it and i only keep it because i like the bottle but i'm gonna let someone else enjoy it because i know it's also limited edition and they don't really sell it that much it is the alien oh sublime or something like that i used it a little bit if you can see the line right there and then after that i haven't used it and by the way none of these are expired they all smell exactly how they're supposed to smell so there's that um this one is the one that i'm gonna try and see if i could get my money's worth out of because it's the only one that i think it's worth it pretty much putting like not full price but at least you know a little bit less than what i paid for next up who's going casserole yes i am 
the reason why is because this one is too heavy for me um i used it a couple times but i found that it was just too heavy on the licorice note in here and i don't know it's like i tried to wear it more and it's not that it's bad i think it's great for fall and winter but it's just not see when i want to wear perfumes the perfumes that I want to have are perfumes that I'm like, oh my god, they're just so beautiful that I want to wear them every single day. And I'm like, no, this one, that one. And I never do that with this one. I never have the urge to reach for this one. And I feel like if that's the thing, then why have it if I'm not going to use it? But I will say that I don't think it's a bad fragrance. I just... For some reason, I just don't crave it and I don't want to wear it. It's weird. Next up, which I'm still like, am I really going to get rid of this one? But I think I'm going to get rid of Cloud. I'm just so bored of it. Honestly, like, when I first got it, I loved it. I was so excited when I got it because I found it at Burlington for like 25 bucks. But the same thing happened with this one. I feel like, and it's not because everybody wears it. I don't care about that. I don't care if a million people wear the same perfume. As long as I smell good and I know I smell good. Or I think I smell good. I'm fine with it. But I just got bored of it, honestly. I like, just didn't crave wearing it. Because, I don't know. I feel like it's a scent where it's not sweet. It's not floral. But, but I want something sweet and floral. Or something just sweet. And this one is pretty much like your everyday fragrance. Which there's nothing wrong with it. I, I still think it's a good fragrance. And I don't wear it like how I used to wear it before. So, I think she's gonna go. I still have the little cloud. I just didn't bring it out. Okay, next up. Just to keep it in the family. I'm getting rid of Thank You Next. Um, this one, look at the dent. I don't know if you can see it. It's barely like... It's a tiny little dent. With this one, I was so in love with this fragrance. When I owned the body mist first, I finished the body mist. And when I saw this in the store, I was like, okay, it's time to upgrade to the perfume. So I got the perfume. And the first time, the first couple times I started wearing it, I just got like this really nauseating scent. And I don't know if it's because the perfume is obviously stronger than the body mist and stuff like that. But in the perfume version, I could not stand it. I don't know why and I hated myself for not hated myself but I just hated the idea of me not liking it because I was I love the body mist so I was like how can I hate the perfume like, I think it has to do with my body chemistry because when I smell it in the bottle it's not that horrible but once I put it on me and it dries on me it just turns really bad on me and I can't stand the fragrance so she's going she's going and I'm getting rid of her next up I'm getting rid of my little travel size of my Michael Kors sexy amber this one I bought, I blind, oh, I blind bought all of these. This one I got for like eight bucks. I think it was on clearance because the little bottle, the little box where it came in was ripped. So they took it down even more. I just don't like it. This is very heavy on the amber. It smells like leather and amber. And it's not for me, girl. It is not for me. I only sprayed it once to test it out to see what it smelled like. And I never opened it back. I never sprayed it again. I just won't use it. I'm not sure if maybe one of my friends would like this because she likes these type of dark fragrances. Crystal, if you're watching this, I might give this to you if you like it. If you like it, it's yours. But yeah, I just did not like it. <laughs> okay, next up, we're getting rid of this one. This one is Paris Hilton Platinum Rush. I just don't hate it, but I, like I said, same thing with the other ones. It's not one that I'm like, oh, I want to wear this one. Mm -mm, no. See, I think these are great for if you want to have a budget-friendly perfume collection, of course, because you can get this for like 10 bucks, 15 or something like that. But for me, that I've like now learned to actually get samples and to test out fragrances and stuff like that, I kind of know the notes that I personally really like in perfumes and I kind of like, I'm not saying that I'm going to get it right all the time when I like know the notes and stuff, but it's just been a little bit more helpful that I know a little bit more now than I used to when I bought all of these. For me, this is something that I just don't want in my collection because I don't use it or I don't want to use it. Next up is another celebrity fragrance and it is the Curious by Britney Spears, which is so funny because I think my mom has a bottle of this and when she wears it i love it on her but when i have it and i do obviously in a little bottle i never want to reach for it i never want to wear this i think this is one of like the really good ones from britney spears and her collection i guess i just lost a lot of interest in these because i have other fragrances that i prefer and that i always want to wear over these so that's mainly the thing next up i'm gonna get rid of oscar de la renta's bella essence i feel
feel so bad because I bought this and I never wore it. I think I wore it once or twice. Can you see the line right there? It's literally new. Um, this one again was one that I thought I really liked in the beginning because I had a sample of it. So I already knew. This one wasn't even a blind buy. I already knew I had it. But for some reason, it just... It just stayed there in the corner i never got it i never wanted to wear it i still don't want to wear it the bottle is absolutely gorgeous but i don't want to have it just because like i said it's going to expire and if someone else can enjoy it then might as well let them enjoy it okay so my last two fragrances are the banana republic ones um these still were same part of the family of when i started buying perfumes i did get a good use out of these i don't know if you can see the little line where i have them they're like right here and here um not horrible fragrances i did enjoy them for some time but that time is over now and it's time to move on from these i love their packaging i think they're absolutely gorgeous packaging their time has come we're getting rid of these i did have one perfume that i actually changed my mind literally on camera which was the sofia vergara one because i haven't used it in a long time but i sprayed it on myself and i am just loving the way that this smells but I was like, actually, never mind. We're just going to use her because I actually like it. I just abandoned it. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And if you're here to the end, girl, thank you so much for sticking around. You guys are truly the best for watching my whole video, watching me talk. I don't know. Sometimes I bore myself. But if you are here, thank you so much. If you guys didn't notice, I dyed my hair back to black. I just felt like it was time. My hair was so faded. And, you know, I had it colored. But it is such a pain in the ass to take care of colored hair because you literally have to dye it like every single two weeks because it fades so fast and i damaged my hair so much trying to lighten it up for all those colors that i put in that i was like i just need to go back to my black usually when i have one single colored hair i don't do anything but black because i hate brown i hate light colors that are like natural colors i guess like light brown blonde i don't like that stuff so it has to be black or nothing black or colors and yeah so we're back to the black i love her i think if i ever want to add color i'm just gonna get extensions and color today so i can stop damaging my hair and then also girl i was trying to cut it you know i was cutting a little damaged pieces and i was gonna cut this piece that i had like kind of like this in the front and so i grabbed it and i didn't have my hair tight or anything and when i grabbed that piece i was gonna cut and i was coming in with the scissors this piece of hair fell into the scissors so i snipped it off and look Look at this. So pretty much this part was like all the way down here. And this part fell over and I cut it off. Girl, that is so embarrassing. Look at that. You can't notice if I blend it into my hair. But I already know that it's there. And I was literally almost cried. I was shook. It was a huge chunk of hair. But... <laughs> but yes girl oh my god i cannot believe i did that I, I was like looking at the piece of hair and i was like oh my god well it was an accident but either way whatever whatever it is what it is it'll grow back i will see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.